We are still waiting to hear when Tanya Couch will be brought back to Texas from Los Angeles. Los Angeles, she was arrested on a felony charge of hindering and apprehension when she was landed when she landed in LA this morning. But we are hearing from her attorneys who say she did not break any laws by going on the run with her son, affluenza teen Ethan Couch. Fox Sports Villa Verado is in Fort Worth now with more. Phil. Well, Heather, uh, Tarrant County Sheriff D. Anderson says that uh, Tanya Couch is expected to waive extradition, speeding her return here to the Tarrant County Jail. Uh, Couch's attorney says, in fact, she is anxious to get back here. Uh, the DA has already charged her with a felony count of hindering and apprehension. But uh, Tanya Couch's attorney says that you may not like what she did going on the run with her son. But she says she's broken no laws in the state of Texas and actually is anxious for her day in court. Ethan Couch was being moved from the Guadalajara jail to Mexico City the same day his mother, Tanya Couch, was being deported. She was flown to Los Angeles and placed in the LAPD jail. Tanya has the right to a contested extradition hearing, uh, but they're very limited rights. Attorney Alex Kim is not connected to the case. Tarrant County Sheriff D. Anderson says Tonya Couch is expected to waive extradition, speeding her return to Tarrant County. There are reports that Ethan Couch and his mother had a gun while they moved around in Mexico. If Mexican authorities decide to make it an issue, Couch could face serious trouble on that side of the border. The only people in Mexico that have guns are the, the military and the cartels. And so it's, you know, you don't want to be caught with a gun in Mexico. Ethan Couch's Fort Worth attorney says he helped him find a Mexican lawyer to stop his deportation until a Mexican federal judge can determine if Couch's rights have been violated, and that could take weeks. The Tarrant County DA has formally charged Tanya Couch with a felony charge of hindering apprehension with a $1 million bond. This could be the longest separation ever between Ethan Couch and his mother. I think Tanya Couch has confused enabling with love for her child, and she has gone through every extreme measure, including what appears to be committing a felony, in order to protect her child. Uh, and that's not really working out for her this time. Ethan Couch got 10 years probation in juvenile court for killing four people while driving drunk. The district attorney wants him back in Tarrant County and to move his case to the adult courts, where at some point he could face prison time. It sure became clear to me that the mom was the, the primary enabler and she's the one that kept bailing him out time after time. Greg Kuntz is the attorney for two of the victim's families. He talked to Tonya Couch during a deposition. One of the things I asked her was, tell me every time you have disciplined him in his life that you can think of. And she hemmed and hawed and took a while and finally said, I can't think of a single time. Because of the holiday weekend, it could still be the first of next week before Tanya Couch is returned here to Tarrant County. Again, her attorney saying in a statement that you may not like what she did, you may not agree with what she did, and that the people may have strong feelings about a mother going on the run with her son. But again, the attorney stressing that Tanya Couch has not broken any laws in the state of Texas. Heather? Yeah, Phil, definitely people have strong opinions about it. Appreciate your coverage. Thank you.